On the agenda tonight, we're going to be having a listen to Damien Rice featuring Lisa Hannigan, and they're going to be performing I Remember. Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So we've got the acoustic guitar out because we're going to go through this video and I'm going to be jumping into it. So there's going to be a link in the description below if you guys want to click on that to watch it the whole way through because it's almost 10 minutes in length. And as you guys will know on this channel that we can talk about a two or three minute performance for about 20 minutes. So to make sure this doesn't go on all year year. I'm just going to let it play through, point out a few things. So as I always say, this isn't going to be an instructional video teaching you how to play it, but I will be pointing out a few things on the guitar, but let's jump into it. I'm just going to jump in here because, I mean, the first thing to point out is dynamically where we are at the beginning of this performance, we are so understated and throughout this performance, you want to make a mental note of that. Almost imagine a graph in your head that has, you know, zero to 100 on the left hand side and Along the bottom, we've got just the duration of the song. So here, we're really starting on what you would class as maybe 10 to 15 out of 100, when 100 is all the instruments getting involved, totally open dynamically, you know, belting and chest voice, all that kind of stuff. We are so understated here. And another huge part of it is the way that Damien is playing his guitar, but we haven't got any rhythm that is set so it's not going to be strict here so you can get this ebb and flow to the performance already that when the vocals come in from Lisa we've got a slight change in tempo because now Damien is just phrasing what he's playing to the vocal so it gives you such an authentic and natural sounding performance just with the flow of everything so as you're watching this performance you'll be able to plot out on your dynamic graph where the line goes as we go through the performance because as we say in lots of other videos that you want to leave yourself somewhere to go you've got to have space to reach a crescendo to take you on that musical journey rather than start out there and if you're just playing at the same level for nine or ten minutes i mean people are going to get bored of that after maybe a minute or two here we started out really understated and a lot of that comes from the way that damien's playing his guitar as well because we have this kind of start which is you know really subtle and I love the way that we have that that little hammer on it's subtle and we get into and again just these little fills and runs that Damien's throwing in that you know are just so cool and you know really folky the way that they're thrown in there we have that just that hammer on from the B to the C and I'm calling out B and C because 
well, I've got the cap on the second fret, so it wouldn't be that. We'd be going from the D flat to the D, but those two notes. But you know, if you're playing this and imagining that's the bottom of the guitar, just pretend that it's a B in the C because you'll be into your C chord position. But it's all about that delay of having that delayed hammer on to really exaggerate that run. And we go again. And. And at that point, we're back into our um, but the important thing is the way that he's playing it, going through yeah, just letting it just hang a little bit slowing down, back and then a little run down and then we're back. And even that second part there, the second run from that E minor, kind of going up to our G, that is more deliberate. You know, he can throw it in there to slow it down for the vocal. So this is the thing that it's such a performance that just is bedded in feel, but not only that, the interaction between the vocalist and the instrumentalist, when I'm talking about vocalists, obviously uh, we've got Damien here as well, who is going to be supplying a vocal, but it's that trade-off between the different elements that just make it this living, breathing thing that's evolving the whole time. But let's get back into it. Out of a storm to watch you Just a quick word on the vocal as well, because Lisa is delivering this in exactly the same space dynamically as the guitar. Obviously, playing fingerstyle, being soft with it, it means that Damien can adjust the attack on each string effectively. Because if you were playing this with a pick, it would be a lot more aggressive, but it doesn't sound like that. So it means that Lisa's voice and the guitar are in that same dynamic range. We can hear that in her voice, that it's very much in that conversational space. She's not leaning into her vocal and she's allowing her vocal to break a little bit in spaces, letting a lot of air, you know, get between her vocal cords and the sound. Let's get back into it again. And your mouth, your mouth, your mind. That. It's almost like you know, letting the vocal cords come together ever so slightly, starting with air, so you actually hear them, that really soft onset, which is when the vocal cords come together rather than going, and just jumping straight into it, that, you know, it's such an emotive sound because there's so much expression in the vulnerability that you get from doing that, rather than just having the effect of effect, you know, like shouting, going, yeah, going, yeah. you know, you're, you're bringing people into the vocal phrase before you've even heard the note. When you go, you hear that first, that vocal fry, yeah, and then the note comes after that. So, you know, it's something that is really going to draw you in. Setting that vocal in exactly the right place for then when you do start leaning into chest voice, it's going to be so dramatic because you've come from this sound. Let's get back into it. Won't you hear now? Won't you hear? Because I can't believe what I found. Oh, and you hear now? You, 
You could even argue at this point in the performance, we've come down even further from where we started. So we know, well, <laughs> or we would uh, hazard a guess that we're about to change dynamically because we're as low as we can go. There's only one place to go from there, and that is up. going to jump in here because of the execution of taking it from that place to now being you know in chess voice we've got that almost belting vocal here from Damien in chess voice it's going to have the emotion on that but because of the mic setup as well the more he leans into it the more distorted kind of over compressed the sound gets so he's pushing it to that really aggressive place just because of the mic setup and the sound of the mic but the way that he's delivering it vocally and we get this this a minor yeah and even that that you know more aggressive with the um strumming and then and we get that kind of thing you know that using that palm mute is going to make all the difference when you've got the vocal, especially in that verse space where we had it, because we had a little bit of that strumming coming in, but when the vocal comes in, you know, it was just brought down by that palm muting. But let's get back into it. And now we've actually got a little bit of distortion on the guitar sound and the wah-wah pedal comes in again really open dynamically here. All of the effects at Damien's disposal that's going to be on the floor, we're going to be hearing uh, that introduction of those different effects as we progress. <laughs> We start to come down ever so slightly. That is as open as you're gonna get dynamically there, just fully open on every single instrument and really going for it and giving you that energy where it doesn't really matter, you know, what's being played by Damien. You can see him just running his finger up the fretboard because the guitar was so distorted, but now it's playing with the feel of the performance, with the energy, rather than worrying about exactly which notes you're playing. It's more just about, you know, hitting the guitar. Yeah, you know, when you've got loads of distortion on the sound, even just sliding your finger up the guitar, 
without even worrying about a chord shape, just barring with one finger, is gonna have its own sound. It's gonna have its own energy. That's always gonna have an emotional response from any listener, even though you're not playing chords and ascending, just any noise that is ascending, it just mirrors exactly what we get pulled into as humans when you go, ah, and you start kind of screaming up higher and higher. That's gonna get your attention. <laughs> it's the same thing musically. Let's jump back into it. really subtle with that wah-wah pedal as well. And with this, this, you know. You know, we've got that kind of thing. So we're getting a little bit more of a percussive sound from the strings. And this, by the way, I mean, I'm kind of exaggerating a bit there, but this is just a fifth that we're playing. Again, it's totally different than, you know, having your you know, chord shapes with finger style, we're now aggressive just with the fifth sliding up and down and being a lot more involved with that right hand. But let's get back into it. Now here, what we've actually got, I think, is a little bit of looping going on. So it means that Damien's playing just one section on the guitar. He gets that on his loop that he set on his effects, and he then plays another line. And now that's going to loop on top of the previous line. You guys know how you know loopers work. <laughs> that you've got that looping pedal that's just playing back what you've previously played. And it's just going to keep playing that back endlessly and just layer it one on top of the next. And we'll just listen to where it goes. Okay, so maybe I jumped the gun with that. Maybe he did a loop and then got rid of the loop and started it again. But here we've now definitely got the loop going on. This sounded like he did it a little bit earlier. So this is a good example of it. You can now hear his previous vocal going on with his vocal that he's singing now. So that's part of the loop and the guitar underneath this is looped as well. <laughs> Oh, 
And there we have it. Something I want to mention about that looping sequence that we had. When Damon gets that loop going, the rest of the band are now playing to his loop. So technically it's actually really difficult to do. And the way that this is executed live is really impressive because everyone's listening to Damien's loops. They have to time themselves. And big shout out to the rhythm section here because drums and bass have to match the loops that are going on. And you'll notice how when everything starts kicking in, you've still got the loops going on in the background. So once everyone's playing in the band, it's going to be so difficult to just hear that loop and you know the timing of it. And you can hear that it goes ever so slightly out, but it's because then we change into now just the, the band and the loops are then effectively erased. Just because of the technical side of what they're doing here, I think that's going to fly under the radar that everything then changed to that looping pedal that that was the focus and the drummer has to now get into the same groove that was previously happening on that loop and maintain that so that once the loop is now gone it still flows into the last section of the song have a look back at your dynamics graph <laughs> that dynamic journey that we have throughout the performance the way that we started actually quite low and we actually just had a little dip before we then you know, really did open the taps and then we came down again and then we opened the taps again. So you get this constant journey up and down dynamically. Everything here has gone on a journey dynamically, every single instrument. And that's why it has such a dramatic effect because everybody's on the same page and it's just a great live performance from a great band. But thank you guys for requesting this video for me to take a look at. Keep those suggestions and requests coming in the comment section below. As always, let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!